language learners often confuse adjectives with ed and ing endings. Be careful that you don't mix up bored and boring, or you might insult someone. Adjectives with ed endings describe feelings, whereas adjectives with ing endings describe a quality or characteristic of a thing or person. Let me give you some examples. I feel bored because this movie is boring. I'm really confused. Calculus is so confusing and the teacher is boring too. So ED endings can only be used to talk about a person's feelings. And things don't have feelings, so don't use ED endings to describe things. Now, people can be described with either ED or ING adjectives, but the meaning is different. Let's compare these two sentences. Jack is bored and Jack is boring. Now, Jack is bored is the same thing as saying Jack feels bored. But if you say Jack is boring, you're saying he's not an interesting person and you probably don't want to talk to him because you will feel bored if you do. Got it? Here are a few more common words that have both ED and ING forms. Exciting and excited. Interesting and interested. And frustrating and frustrated. Create some sentences with each of them right now so you don't forget. And then go out and use them. Thanks for watching.